Boom, 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 boom. Hello guys, I'm Mr. Addicted here and today I'm going to show you how to make this spooky, sp scary survival house. Now, if you haven't built the house already, I will make sure I put it down in the description you can build that house. I just show you how to make this house that I've already recently uploaded onto my channel, how to make it into a spooky, scary house. And as you can see, it's pretty damn spooky. So definitely slap the hell out of that like button subscribe and if you haven't built this house and you don't want to build this house then i'm sure there will be some tips and tricks along the way that you can use to make your house look a little bit scary so even if you don't use this tutorial then yeah you'll definitely pick up something so without further ado let's do this right guys so let's do this so what i would do is start off by taking all the windows out and replacing them for iron bars now it gives it that sort of dark sort of scary look now you can keep some of the blocks and some of the glass maybe change them for like a yellow glass obviously if you're in minecraft pocket edition you're not going to do that but something like this it gives it a real sort of scary dingy sort of look and definitely what we do next is i'm just going to speed this up and replace all the windows for iron bars so you guys can kind of get a, a view of what it would be like now for something like this i would probably keep the window now for like a top window like this you could do that now you could replace that for yellow stained glass or something like that i don't know let's try this try like maybe some bars in between here like here and here just to kind of i don't know make it a little bit scary yeah, something like that. Something a bit cracked up, you know, a bit different. Maybe that locking into there or something like that. Just something a bit worn down, right? So I'll speed it up for the rest of them. Right, so as you can see, it kind of just gives it that really, really good look. I've just missed the window, god damn it. I thought I, thought I didn't miss you. Right, there we go. Right, so the next, I would probably start adding cobwebs. Now, for the thing of the cobwebs, you probably need to take blocks out of it, like here as well. Maybe you could misplace a few blocks here and there from your bills just to make it kind of look broken down and worn down maybe like the odd bit out here and stuff and you could probably put a cobweb in there now think about where cobwebs usually lie they'd usually lie in the top of the buildings maybe in some crevices up here maybe you want some replacing here just you don't want to go too overkill with the cobwebs like that's just fallen out there doesn't matter we'll just get that on there maybe some down here so that's that's okay you don't want to go too much maybe some at the very top as well make it look quite scary maybe some underneath here now for the side of the building do you know some in the corners and stuff now it's okay to take some out of the corners here and here maybe the odd one up here and stuff you know and definitely be some underneath the cow bales here maybe on odd one there odd one there Something kind of like that. You don't want to go too overkill. Maybe one here. Some up here as well. You probably get cobwebs up there. And maybe one at the top here. Let's have a look down here near the cow shed. Near the underneath here as well. Let's get it all in. And then we think we should add some pumpkins and stuff. Let's get some pumpkins on. Obviously at the front. Give it that scary sort of look. I don't know. Maybe the two are there. You could have them scattered around the building here and there. Just to make it look a little bit more spooky. So that's coming along so far. That's looking nice. Now a good thing to do is get some blood trails of the redstone. Maybe there are blood trails trailing up here. Maybe some on the porch. Now inside your house. Just scatter them around randomly. Just really give it spooky. Spooky side of fab. And then same with the cobwebs here and there. You don't want them too out of place, but you kind of want them so you can see them. Gives it that spooky look. Now through here, maybe the odd one there. It's kind of, um, I don't know, it's a kind of, it's random, but at the same time, it's got some kind of structure to it. Where you'd usually find cobwebs if you'd find them in your house and stuff. Like, so you'd go up here, maybe get the odd blood trail going up here as well, just to kind of make it look like someone's been dragged down there or something you could even put a pumpkin here and as for the armor stance you could put an armor stand with a pumpkin on and then you can put some armor on like that just make it quite scary so as soon, as soon as someone comes through maybe this door as well put too many armor stands down in the world god damn you god something like here you know 
get that going on. So they like come around here like, oh, what the hell? So, you know, it just like have them dotted around the place like that. And it's always nice to get some little bits of dead bush, you know, gives it that sort of feel of spooky. Get a bit there as well. That's looking quite nice. Maybe some up on here and scattered around the house. Now you can go overkill with these. It doesn't matter. There's going to be loads of dead bushes and stuff. Get them like that. Randomize it. That's coming together quite nicely. Looking quite spooky so far. So now it comes for the, the magic touches. So I would probably get some spruce fence. And um, depending on the build really. It depends on the build. Like you'd probably get some nice trim underneath here. It kind of gives it that scary look because they've usually got the scary kind of, um, I've gone with a call, like fences round the, fences round the roof. That's quite scary. Yeah, you know what I mean? So kind of like around these roofs and stuff, kind of around the edges there. As you can see, that was quite nice. Maybe some more. Let's try it across here. Let's take away these. Maybe get that one going down like that maybe one across there and then one more down one across there one more down let's have a little look from a distance yeah that's looking nice and now basically do the opposite say if you've got oak you do spruce spruce oak and cut bits out of the roof you know like different bits coming along here in different jaggedy areas maybe you want some bits of the roof missing you know like it's been worn down get some bushes and stuff like that where we're going to need just random places you can make it as random as you want now here's the trick that you can try get some grass blocks get your bone meal and then fill your grass blocks in random areas this you can go quite heavy on this like that you know and do it in random places making sure it's kind of in with how the roof's going and let's have a little look at that it kind of just gives it more of a rundown sort of feel. I think it really does work quite well if you do it right. Let's get some across here. This is the sort of pattern you're going for. Now it's completely random this, completely and utterly random. We get some of these in. Let's get this going across here. And then to fill it in, obviously we're using vines and bushes. So vines, bushes. You can maybe scatter some bushes coming along here. You want that old sort of like rundown feel. Maybe some vines down there. Get some more vines down here. Let's let's have a look. At the front here, we could maybe do some down here. That'll end up growing past there and stuff. Can end up putting a bit down there. Maybe some scat down here. Bit coming up here and stuff. Just kind of in random places where it'll grow out and it'll kind of look a bit worn down. Add some bushes at the side and stuff now. There's no specific pattern to it. Just kind of do it true to life. You don't want it too like uh, overkill with the bushes and stuff. Like that's looking all right. And then once you get some nice trees, you can make maybe make some dead trees and let's get a little graveyard going or something. Let's get some little things here. Let's get some of these going. Right, I'll speed it up and put a, a few of these in the front garden. See how it looks. Okay, so once we've done that, as you can see, I've just used the paths there. And we can actually make our own makeshift trees. Now, I'm going to show you how to roughly do them. And hopefully you can kind of pass it on. So I'd, I'd do something like this. Going up, maybe four, and then up one like that. And kind of go along. Now, it can be random each time. And that's going down. Can You want to kind of like a bit of a random sort of tree. Like it's dead. Like a dead sort of random tree. You can get some bushes around it as well. Like the bush pattern, I'd do something like this, you know. And once you've got some more bushes added around the area. You know, get some bushes going around the area. Want some normal trees growing as well. Growing around the whole place. You can even get some bigger ones. Maybe that was just one there. And then you want it up a bit more. You can randomise it. Let's get it from there as well. Something like that, you know. Have it coming out in places. 
Let's get it down a little bit there as well. And you can add bushes, vines to that as well. So they can have some random vines coming down from it. If you don't like it, the back there, get some vines going down that. Snap it off the top there. Let's have a look. We've got a bigger tree. And then once you've surrounded that by, I'd probably get the oak because you can just kind of go a bit crazy with it. Let's get some oak around here. Just get completely and utterly random. And then once you've got those random trees amongst that, it really will make it look quite good. Let's get some of these in as well. You want it kind of restricted. So while people are walking around in it, they kind of have to walk around the trees and stuff. If you do this all over, I'll speed this up and then just fill this area with trees and stuff. So as you can see, we've got a bit of bushes around and I've just got the trees around. Now maybe make some path and stuff. So I would probably get the, we'll get the diamond shovel. And now this can be kind of randomized. You can kind of randomize it up. Maybe make some there. Uh, let's just get it up to here. Let's get it up to this bit. Maybe you can do it around the, let's get all this out of the way. You can have like holes in some places as well. You could get some rickety fence posts that's running down the side of the path. Let's get something like this. You can even have a little pond at the side. So say if you wanted a pond around here or something, just get something kind of going around. There's no specific pattern to this. So kind of something like this, you can maybe have a tree that's in the middle of that. Let's get some water on there. And just kind of work with it until you're happy. Now there's no like random structure to it. Let's have a look. Yeah, so something silly like that, we could can, kind of get some dead bushes around here. We can get some darker oak or spruce even. Just kind of for around here, kind of build it up, build it up bushes and stuff. Let's get some around here as well. And in between the trees as well. It's always nice to get a little bit in between there. Just some in random places. Let's get some fence posts now. You could even use the wall, but I'm probably going to use the spruce. So we get some spruce coming around here. Now it doesn't have to be neat this. You can kind of work with the path that you've made. Let's get some down here, down here and stuff. Kind of in random places, you know. You can have it kind of structured, but in random places, maybe some fence missing. Right, so now we can build up more trees around. Let's have a look. Like round here. So as you're going through with the path, we'd have some areas where it could join onto the fence. Uh, get some more kind of in the middle. It's good to have some big ones as well. Um, let's have a look. Get some round here, here. Oh my God, this is coming together. Get some of those in. Let's have a little look. I mean, look at that so far. Ho ho ho. And then if you would like to try and give it that scary sort of spooky vibe, you can get some redstone torches. Now this is where we turn the lights off and we can kind of have a real good look at this. Right, let's have a look at that so far. Now if you want to add some kind of like, I don't know, kind of gauze or stuff. I would use the granite. It's just got that sickly sort of horrible look. You can just have like random douses of it. And up the garden path, definitely gonna add some red stone. Building with almost addicted. Let's get some on here, you know. You can have missing bits as well. I mean, you can even add bits of cobblestone, just kind of randomize it a bit. Okay, let's put it to nighttime. Let's see what this baby looks like. And then we can kind of brighten it up and see what it looks like. So let's get on to nighttime. Maybe we can get some thunder and, and lightning and stuff. Oh, beautiful. So obviously if it's too dark in areas, 
we can kind of light it up in areas here get some redstone torches we can even hide them if you want them as hidden light get them hid behind here and stuff maybe add some mushrooms get some mushrooms underneath the trees and stuff some underneath here that's looking nice let's have a little look i think that looks like a scary spooky sort of creepy house and there we go guys i really really hope you enjoy it if you want to change your lighting in here for something like the redstone torches it really really does make a difference so if it's too light in here look at that makes a world of a difference so i really hope you enjoy your new spooky scary house and definitely subscribe comment down below what you think and slap the hell out of that like button there is your creepy scary spooky house oh my god that is scary I've got a ripple soul.